Hey Oracle DBA fans, Marche Hanner here from Online DBA Academy. And today what I want to do is introduce a new series to you all that I will be starting. This series will be called Becoming an Oracle Database Administrator. And in this series, I'm basically going to be discussing with you all all the things you need in order to become a database administrator and what you do not need. So sit back, stay tuned. Let's go ahead and jump into the first episode. So thank you all for joining me on today. In today's video, what I want to talk to you all about is what you need and what you do not need in order to become a database administrator. So we're going to go ahead and just jump right into this and discuss what do you need. There are three things that I really want to just discuss that you're going to need in order to become a database administrator. And number one, that's going to be you need a mentor, period. There's no other way to say that. Um, the reason you need a mentor is because you can go the self-training route. I went the self-training route, but I had a mentor. And my mentor was there to answer all the questions that I had that I could not get the answer to on my own. He was able to point me in, that, in the direction that I needed. He was like a guy, you know. The thing was that I can say he was not available at 3, 4 o'clock in the morning when I was studying. But whenever I called him and I had questions that I needed answered, he answered those questions. He would sit me down. He would say, hey, Marche, you do this or you don't do this. Stuff that I could not get on my own. So I definitely believe that he spared up the time it would have taken me to get my certification on my own. So having a mentor is invaluable because in a previous video, I talked to you all concerning you want to be very narrow in your focus. Sometimes you can be wide. And a lot of times when I talk to people, they are very wide because they don't know that you need to be laser focused. They're, they're taking on a whole bunch of things that is too early for them to take on, whereas just sticking to it, exactly what you need in order to become a database administrator. So I definitely want to start there. You're definitely going to need a mentor. The second thing that you need is just the OCA curriculum. The OCA curriculum is just going to go over everything that's going to be needed for the Oracle Certified Associate Certification because that's the main thing that's going to get you an interview. It's going to be that OCA certification. So you're going to need that curriculum. And in this video, I will make sure you all have you know, just an outline of that curriculum. Not only that, but I'll post the link for the latest one uh, for 12C. 18C has been released, but 18C is not out yet as far as certification. So I'm going to I'm going to um, post the 12C certification track for you all to see. Um, and if you have any questions concerning that certification track, just let me know. The last thing I will say that you're going to need hard work and dedication. Um, it took me six months in order to get my certification, an additional two months to find a job. So that's a long time to be studying and finding a job. So I'll first start with, you know, there's layers. It's a process, basically. When I say layers, what I mean is it's a process. So like I said, it took me six months to study in. Once you know what the certification covers, you can develop a plan. And once you have a plan, you can execute that plan. So the thing is, there is no way that, you know, a lot of people use dump. You can use a dump and get a certification, but that in no way prepare you for what you're, you're going to be doing every day on your job. You have to sit down and you have to practice. You have to do lots and lots of projects. That's how you're going to learn how to become a good database administrator. It takes a lot of diligence. It takes a lot of hard work. So that's something that you cannot uh, avoid. Another thing is this field is saturated. I'm just going to be honest with you, right? A lot of people are trying to get a job. So you have to have certain things that separate you from the next person that's trying to get a job. So I always tell my student that's going to be your knowledge. 
the OCA will get you an interview, but it's your knowledge. It's you being able to walk the interviewer through whatever processes they're asking you about that's going to get you that job. And you can't sugarcoat that. You can't fake that. You can't, as they say, fake it till you make it. You can't do that. You cannot do that in an interview. And so that's where hard work and dedication comes in at. So you guys, that's basically what I have for what you do need in order to become a database administrator. Again, you need a mentor, you need the OCA curriculum, and last but not least, you need, what's the last thing you need? Oh, hard work and dedication. It's a process and you have to crawl before you walk, before you run. Okay, so now that we have that out the way, let's talk about what you do not need in order to become a database administrator. All right, so there's really just one thing I want to discuss, and before I discuss it, I want to give you all the backstory to what you do not need. Maybe about two hours ago, I got off the phone with uh, a student of another course, and he's the reason I decided to do this video. Um, this student just basically wanted to know, do I need RAC and Data Guard in order to become a Oracle DBA. He was in another course and um, the instructor was telling him, you know, you need Rack and Data Guard. And it was an additional cost to the OCA course he had already paid for. So he called to just ask for my advice. And I will tell you guys what I told him. You're not even a DBA yet. You're trying to become a database administrator. So you don't need Rack and Data Guard. What you need is the OCA. What you need is to learn your fundamentals. What you need is to practice your projects. Because you want to be a strong DBA, right? You want to get the fundamentals down. I said earlier that you want to stay narrow. You don't want to uh, go broad. Once you go broad, once you go wide, you're tackling on all this stuff. Um, you know, I asked him, you know, when you got into this course, were they, you know, pushing $100,000? And of course he told me yes. The reason why they're pushing $100,000 is because RAC and Data Guard are senior level courses. Those are things that senior DBA do, not a junior level DBA. You may practice those things as a junior level DBA, but the thing is you don't know if your job will have RAC or Data Guard. Like, can you get a job first? Can you see if this shop is gonna even have RAC and Data Guard? I worked, job, I worked the job three years before I ever saw RAC or a data guard. And I'll be honest and say, I still don't know RAC because it's not in all the shops that I've worked in. Like, you don't know what you're going to be doing until you get a job. But one thing I can guarantee you, you'll always be doing the, fun, the fundamentals. And the fundamentals are OCA. So as long as you know the fundamentals, it doesn't matter what job you go to you're going to be doing those. So you're good with just the fundamentals. So I would say start there. You know, don't worry about rack and data guard because that's too much. You have to crawl before you walk, before you run. And with that being said, you shouldn't be going out the salaries that are, that is $100,000 at the gate. I mean, what career field you know, they go from zero to 100 that fast. It doesn't happen. So you do not need rack and data guard, but what you do need is a mentor, you need hard work and dedication, and you need the OCA certification. So you guys, that's all I have for you all in this video. Again, you guys, I do have a free online training program. I will post the information in this video. Not only that, but I want to ask you guys, if you could, could you please like, could you please comment and could you please share this video? Last but not least, if you need anything from me, please reach out from the information that's on the screen. I'll be more than happy to assist, talk to you guys, answer any questions that you may have. So thank you guys for watching this video. Again, please like, please subscribe, please comment. With that being said, Online DBA Academy signing off. God bless. Happy studies.